in this video we're going to look at clearing fractions. So we're going to start with this equation with all these fractions in it. And you're going to look at all the denominators and find the LCD of the denominators that you see. You will probably have various methods to do this and that that's another video. But for our purposes I'm going to show you, I'm going to go with 8 since it's the biggest of the denominators and multiply it up and just see if the other numbers go into it. So 8 times 2 is 16, which 4 does go into, but 3 and 6 do not. And 8 times 3 is 24, which all three of the numbers will go into. 4 goes into 24, 3 goes into 24, and so does 6. So we're going to take the 24 as our LCD and we're going to multiply it by the entire equation. The way to do this by hand is to write your equation out and put little 24's on the top of each fraction because it's going to be distributed with each fraction. You can use a calculator to do the multiplication or again if you're doing this by hand you're going to divide each denominator into the 24. So 8 goes into 24 3 times, 4 goes into 24 6 times, 3 goes into 24 8 times, and 6 goes into 24 4 times. Then you're just going to write an equation that shows what's left. You don't have any denominators anymore, so you're just going to multiply what you have and make those terms. So in the first term, it's negative and then 3 times 1, so that's negative 3 and then the W. For the second term, you've got a 6 times a 3, so that's going to be plus 18. And you've got your equal sign, and you've got negative an 8, a 2, and a W, so that's negative 16 W. And finally, you've got 4 and 1, so that's going to be 4 times 1 is 4, plus 4. So your new equation now looks a lot better. You have cleared the fractions, and then you're just using algebra to solve the rest of it. So again, you kind of have a choice here, but we can move the, um, if you zero in on the equal sign, you can move the negative 16w, and that will give you the 13w over there on the left-hand side. Then you can move the 18 by subtracting it, and that gives you 13w equals negative 14. And finally, you can divide by that 13 and get w equals negative 14 over 3. Leave it as a fraction. You don't have to change it to a decimal. Let's look at one more example. In this particular example, you will have to distribute first before you clear those fractions. So distributing will give you negative 2 thirds x, but also it'll be negative 2 over 15. And then on the right hand side, same thing, negative 1 eighth over x and a negative 120. Again, multiplying fractions is another video, so you would just multiply straight across and reduce to get that 1 over 20. Now you've got bigger denominators, but you can handle it. Again, we're trying to find LCD. This is just a different method for doing that. It's showing all the prime factors and then putting them all together to get the LCD of 120. We're going to put the 120 on all of the fractions and divide the numbers in and that's going to give us negative 80x minus 16 equals negative 15x minus 6. We're going through this one a little bit quicker just so that you can see the concept. Then you're just moving the terms that need to move in order to solve the equation. So you've got the negative 